Hey guys. So, how are you guys doing today? Sorry it's been so long since I uploaded a video. I've been busy and down lately and stuff. So, you see me with my straight hair and no makeup and stuff. I just want to, you know, update and see how I'm doing. <laughs> okay. I turned 17 and yeah, I'm still in high school. Um, these past months has been stressful for me because drama and stuff has been happening a lot and I just couldn't take it. So let me get into the detail. I'll start describing as much as possible. So, after my birthday, I talked to this guy, and we've been friends ever since I met him in the beginning of school year, ever since I went to ed tech, and um, we both talked on the phone, uh, he wanted to, and he told me that he liked me. And I felt the same way, but I felt like I did something horrible because the one I'm dating, I have a boyfriend still, or one year is next month, and I'm happy. And this happened on Thursday. Uh, it's It was weird because I just didn't know he actually had feelings for me. And I started shaking and stuff like crazy, and I just didn't know what to do. And um, on Saturday, I decided to come out and tell um, Lance's brother Jesse because he would never do anything to hurt me, and he basically wants me and Lance to be together forever. He's just doing whatever. And um. I think it was Monday, probably, no, it was Friday, I told Jesse, Saturday, Lance found out because he went on his brother's phone, which is weird, and that's when I, the argument happened, I was so scared and super, super terrified to talk to Lance because I'm afraid he was going to break up with me, so he almost broke up with me on Saturday and Monday, like, I just didn't know what to do. I tried so hard to come clean and be myself in order for us to be together. Like, if I lose him, I will lose everything that I gained that I wanted. And then afterwards, we both basically apologized and we're, we both stopped arguing on... I think it was Thursday or Wednesday, and I'm so glad that we stopped arguing. That was, that was the longest, worst argument I've ever been with him. And after that, Peter decided to not be friends with me anymore. He was like my only friend at EdTech, and he was like my best friend there. Because he thought I sent stalkers to stalk his Facebook and I didn't even do it. So he's mad at me for nothing. And it took me at least probably three to four days to get over it because he was my best friend there. And he kept ignoring me and I did my best to be nice to him. And he just ignored me. I'm like, okay, whatever. It was hard, hard doing it, but I'm over it now. So, he just basically lost his nicest friends, and we're in the middle of doing a film thing right now, and I'm not partners with him, so I'm really scared to talk to him, and I've changed ever since I lost him. Like, I became a more better person. I don't stress over things. I don't do stupid things I used to, and I have to watch out for what I do on my lands because I do not want to argue again because I'm scared to lose him. Like, I will grow up, act mature, 
and do a girlfriend that he wants to. I would not, you know, say random things about One Direction 24-7 like I used to. <laughs> I'm obsessed. But I just want things get a, to get better for the both of us because I cannot live without him. And him and his mom are coming this summer to meet him, meet me and my family to clear things up. And I just... I am, there's no words to tell you how excited I am. And recently, um, I don't know, I became really closer with my best friend Donovan, and it's insane. I didn't go to school today because yesterday was a very hard day for me. My uncle just went away to go back to his home in Maryland. And it was, it was hard. I couldn't stop crying. And at school, I heard that. I heard Zane left One Direction, and I'm truly broken in the press about it. I could not stop crying and stuff about it. Like, I couldn't even go on my Facebook or Instagram or Twitter because they kept posting things about it. And I was like, I, I just stood off my phone for the rest of the day. It was too hard for me. I couldn't even watch TV without thinking because MTV kept posting stuff on um, Zane, and I thought it was a joke because I, I don't know. And One Direction posted a thing on Facebook, and it was on the news. I was like, "This is really happening." Oh, this is. Oh, I I supported this band for almost four years now, and I just didn't get didn't even know it would come to this, and it's it's hard. Like, I'm afraid that One Direction will split up because of all the hate and stuff and all the rumors. And I don't want my boys to be broken up because of this. I will do as much as possible to get Zane back in One Direction because it's not the same without him. It's not. It's not. I just I just want to post this to update me and be real with you guys because I'm trying to be real with everyone. Like, I'm tired of being... Like, this person that I'm not. Like, I change myself to make people happy. And throughout high school, middle school, it's tough. Like, throughout high school, it's just so much drama. You lose all your friends, and you have no one. Like, for me, I only have, like, probably, like, three or four real friends now since I'm a junior. And it's hard. It really is hard. But I'm still here. I'm still strong. I'm always strong 24-7. Day one, I'm always strong. Lance makes me strong. One Direction makes me strong. Bethany Moore, Ariana Grande, Sam Smith, Black Sauce makes me strong. Even my family and friends, no matter who they are, they make me happy and strong. I just want to say thank you guys for making me happy and all your stuff. And I just want to say I love you guys, honestly. like You guys make me happy. That's that's all I ever wanted to to be happy. <sighs> Sorry if I look really really tired and awful. I just stood home from school today because I couldn't even get up because I was so sad about everything yesterday. Yesterday was such a hard day, and I truly love Zane and I want him to come back in one direction. But I understand that he had problems with his girlfriend and well his fiance. And he has stress and rumors and stuff. I'm okay with that, with him taking a break. He deserves it. He deserves to take a break. He makes all of us happy. We need to make him happy. Like, honestly. If if we could do a thing, I deserve, I think that One Direction should cancel the tour, take a long, long break, get rid of stress, and... Maybe Zane will join back and it'll be officially a One Direction again. Honestly, I would love to see my boys all them together and just sing and be the loving idiots I love. <laughs> oh, I would do whatever I can to make them happy because they made us happy. I don't know what else to say. I just had to get this off my chest. And my life's been pretty much, pretty much good. 
I will keep updating on you guys, and I'm sorry this is a long, long video. I just been looking at my screen. I don't like look at the camera or my timing thing about like right here. So yeah, and I got oh sorry, I got bangs and I got a new hair color. It's a lot darker and I love it. And I got it cut. It's so short, but I love it still. And I got layers. And I just want to say that I love you guys, honestly, and I will hopefully talk to you soon. Hope I don't get any hate on this, because I don't deserve any hate. It's like, don't hate on people. No matter who they are, don't hate. You may never know, you might never see that person again if you say crap about them. Just think to yourself. Think what you're going to say before you say it to them. So... I just want to say I love you guys, and I will talk to you guys soon. I'll keep up with you guys, and I just want to say I love you.